I am most grateful for just our team of people at Project Kara. I don't think I hold all the answers for our patients, so I'm really grateful that we have a team who um, are familiar with all the resources in the area and are great communicators and very compassionate. And so I feel like when I'm working with patients, I have the benefit of all these other team members that help um, make our care very patient-centered. We have a chance to change the direction um, for an entire family for generations with our treatment. Um, and then also just have a lot of gratitude for the providers and support staff that I get to work with who are so compassionate about this work and just a joy to be around. Early on when we're first meeting a patient, I collect uh, background information on their substance use and mental health history and along with patients' motivations for coming in, of course. At every step of the process, you know, from beginning to the end, we're making sure that the patient it remains the center of our focus. We want to make sure that we are a safe place for them to come. And so whether or not we're using cognitive behavioral therapy or dialectical behavioral therapy or cognitive processing therapy, all of these different therapies we use um, at the core of all of them are going to be compassion. There is no judgment. Uh, we're going to support you where you are with what the goals that you have identified for yourself. So to have the opportunity to prepare and plan, um, to ask questions in a stigma-free zone, um, to be able to just openly discuss uh, what that might look like postpartum um, is an invaluable opportunity that Project Kara uniquely provides to the women that we work with. We're a really collaborative and close team at Kara and we work together really, really well, and everyone is involved and informed about what everyone else is doing because as a team, collaboration makes us successful. Most of the patients, when they first come in, are very nervous and worried. They're afraid of being judged. They're, they don't know what to expect. Um, and so during the time we're talking, we talk a lot about there's no judgment here. We're here to help. As a pharmacist, I'm very med-centered, so I'm thinking through medications and thinking through how it affects the patient. Kara has expanded the way I think about how to provide care because I get to hear how others think through patient care. Through the course of someone's pregnancy, their life really starts to change and can re really see them start to feel better, both mentally, physically, all kinds of ways. For me, it's actually meeting patients where they are, being attentive to their specific needs based on what they've experienced in their lifetime, you know, gender issues or trauma that they've experienced. I think that's kind of meeting them where they are and letting them sort of be self-determinant in their care. You can come to Project Kara, and whether your last use was five years ago or five minutes ago, we're still gonna see you. We're gonna still talk to you and assess what your goals are and what you need from us, and then be able to deliver the information that we have, right? And at the end of the day, we turn back to you to say, this is, this is your pregnancy, this is your decisions, right? And, and how can we support you on, on this path that you're on? No one does not know someone who has a use disorder. Everyone does. And for many of us, it is someone that we love and care about, you know, it could be a family member or a friend or a coworker. And it really has enlightened me in how prevalent it is and how much it really does impact so many people.